he's not me and I'm not him. But tonight I'm going fishing with Tim. I'm in the river. We're not in the creek. It's the exact same spot that I fished last week. Am I a poet, Tim? <laughs> hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day folks, you might remember this spot. I caught three yellow belly and a Murray cod here last week. All undersized, three on shrimps, one on worms. This week I've come back to the same spot. I've got my good friend Tim Galley down there. He's going to show me how to catch the big ones. The first thing I'm going to do before I even put a line in is I'm going to put a shrimp net in because as I proved last week when I was here, shrimp are go. Right, now this particular spot here was shrimp central when I was here last week. It's a bit crooked, but I think it's going to be fine. I think they'll find their way in. Right now it's time to put my lines in. Rod number one can just go out there. Pretty much a carbon copy of the last time I was here. I'm going to have one on me Simon Humphrey and Royally Humphrey fishing rod holder. And this one here will be in the uh, more secure rod holder. Hey Tim. I bought a chicken to make some sandwiches to come down here tonight. But he wouldn't bloody do it, just sat there looking at me stupid while I was asking him to make the sandwiches. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, I was just about to explain my setup and I looked down and there's the bells that I lost last time I was here. Just sitting on the dirt. <laughs> How good is that? This is my setup. This is the chair. This is the relaxation chair. This is where I sit to chill out and relax. I've got all my crap down here. This is the uh, the next level seat. This is the uh, on your mark seat. This is where I sit when I'm getting a bite and I just want to get up nice and close. So I sit here to relax. Then when I start getting a bite, I, uh, I progress to the esky. When I'm sitting on the esky, that means I'm ready to, ready to pounce on a biting fish. It's not a bad system. Tim's only got one chair, but it's just, he's on the ready to pounce chair right from the start. Look at this, Tim's on, Tim's on. You got him? I'll grab my phone in case it's something worth getting a photo of. <laughs> oh, it's only a little fish. The way you bit, I think you'll put the rod in the water. Oh, it's a little Murray cod, is it? It's a trout cod. Yeah. Lovely little trout cod. What did you catch out on, Tim? Uh, cheese and chicken nugget with sweet and sour sauce. Uh, on the one hook? On the one hook. Cheese, cheese and chicken. Doesn't the sauce wash off? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> cheese and chicken nugget on a sweet and sour sauce on a hook. If you put that same combination and dangle it from the tree, Tim, you'll probably catch me. <laughs> Well done, Tim. Thank you. Oh, it took off like a rocket. Now, I caught uh, four fish last time I was here. None of them were trout cod. No, what were they all cod? One Murray cod and three yellow belly. Oh, three. So, do you cook the chicken nugget for the fish, Tim, or do you put them on raw? No, we just get them from Macca's. That's a Macca's chicken nugget. How do you buy chicken nuggets and get them all the way down here without eating them? Uh, thank you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's next level, that is. There's a Macca's chicken nugget. <laughs> here it is. Huge big sinker. Bit of cheese, a chicken nugget and some sweet and sour sauce. That's the McSecret bait. Tim's fishing with the 11 secret herbs and spices. Brilliant. Right. Have I got any shrimpages yet? Where's this line? There's a couple in that. Right. I've got a few shrimp here. I've got there's a dozen in there, but a few of them are quite small. 
but that's okay. The whole idea of checking the net early and getting a few now, so that I can bait up a few times without having to pull the net in every 10 or 15 minutes. Here we go, bring out the shrimp. I've got the double shrimp on, they're only small shrimp, that's why I put two on. Put the double shrimp in. At least that way now if I get a bite, I know it's probably not going to be from a shrimp. Now this rod here has got the triple shrimp because they're so small I put three on. I reckon three shrimp on the one hook like that might not look all that natural though, Tim. But then again, I suppose it couldn't look any more unnatural than a chicken nugget with bloody sweet and sour sauce. And I lost one of my shrimp anyway. <laughs> well, the double it is. There it goes there, and again. Something's nibbling on me shrimp. Take it. Got him. Feels like a carp. If I caught a carp on the double shrimp, if it's a yellow, it might be a keeper. That's a yellow, that's a cod. It's a small cod. All right. Right, I've caught a small cod here on the shrimp, but there's something unusual about this. <laughs> I'm going to try not to slip over. Cod are very good at lip hooking, and this guy's uh, this guy's hooked a bit deep. There we go, folks. A little Murray cod with a bit of an issue on his top fin there, taken on the shrimp. I had to break the line because he was hooked a little bit deep, but. Uh, See you later, mate. He's a bit groggy. There he goes. Right, let's see if I can get some more shrimp for bait. Now that cod release wasn't ideal. That's a normal one on top and everything. That's a good one, that one on top. He's a good one. He can go in the bucket. Right, what have we got? Yeah, that's a bit better. These are a bit better. That one that was on top is a bloody good shrimp, actually. Right, now this is... Uh, a much bigger shrimp this one, it's quite a decent size on this one. This is a perfect size shrimp, I like him big like this. Because he's just one shrimp, I'm going to put him on there on his own. The single shrimp. Now I realise that cod release wasn't as uh, graceful as we would have liked, but unfortunately these things happen sometimes with fishing. He swallowed it a bit deep, I couldn't get it out so I broke the line. Probably should have uh, cut the line straight away rather than try and retrieve the hook looking back, but anyway. Too late now, it is what it is. But I reckon he's gonna be just fine. Now he's got it. <laughs> How long did that shrimp take to catch a fish? Not that long. What have, what, what have we got? I'm saying cod or the other. What is it? You know what, I'll keep him off the bottom. It's a Murray cod. Sorry, sorry, Tim. Yeah, you alright? Well done, Tim. Tim's got a little Murray cod. Yeah. Do you want me to knock him or? Yeah, if you don't mind. He's a little bit on the dirty side from that mud. Do you want me to throw him back or you want to yeah. do it? No, you can. You can have the place. Uh, I just gave Tim, Tim said, have you got any shrimp? I said, there's a couple in the bucket. How many did you put on the hook? One or two? two. Tim put two on the hook and within two minutes he caught a cod. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a couple more here. Feel free to help yourself. My turn. Give me a bit of a bite on the shrimp here. What's that? Missed him. The fishing, yeah. Once that shadow starts creeping across the water. Well, the shrimp's still there. Got him. I've got something on the shrimp. I was just about to change my GoPro battery on one, about 15%. Is that another cod? Last time I was here it was Yellow Belly Central, now it's bloody Cod Central. And they're all tiny. Now last time I was here, it was uh, all about yellow belly. Got one cod and, th and three yellows. Tonight, what's this, Tim? Is this cod number four? Another Murray. Tim got the only trout cod and the rest have been Murrays. This one's hooked in the lip, so he'll be a bit easier to set free. There he is, he's all bowed up like a banana. Watch this one swim off a bit better. <laughs> he gone. He's off like Nana's knickers. That's pretty off. On the shrimp, while I'm here I'll check the shrimp net. 
But Tim's gone back to using the chicken nugget with the sweet and sour sauce because uh, with the shrimp we're having trouble keeping up with demand at the moment. Right, what have we got in here? Do we have any more shrimp? Is there any on top? There's often, look at them. There's two on the top. It's amazing how often there's shrimp on top of the net. Sounds like there's a few in here too, Tim. I think I've put yeah, 10 in the bucket then. 10 or 11, oh, no, there's a dozen. I've put a dozen in the bucket and left a couple of real small ones in the net. And that's the haul. That's what was in the shrimp net just now. Now just in case you don't know or you haven't seen me do this in any of my other videos, when I fish a shrimp I simply just poke the tail, the hook straight through the tail and let him flick around like that. And that's all you need to do. He'll flick around and do the work for you. <laughs> hey, Tim's on again. What if I go down here and land him for you, Tim? So you try to keep him out of the mud a bit for you. Is he yeah. still... You still got him? Oh, here comes the waves. Try and keep him sort of looked after a bit, that's all. Another little cod. I'll risk life and limb for you, Tim. Do you want to hold him or? All right. Give me, buddy. That's a bit better. So he's dragging him through the mud and I'm able to wet me here. He's muddy anyway, but at least everything's kept wet. Another little cod, Tim. Hey. So many of them. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm trying to run with the wet sandal on. There's plenty to choose from. Look at them all. Holy crap. Is that alive? Yep. Oh, yeah. You're just playing dead, the bastard. That's what I'll do. Right, folks. Thanks very much for watching Robbie and Tim's fishing adventures at the local cod nursery. <laughs> Seriously, last time I was here, only a few days ago, Three yellow belly and one cod tonight. Not a yellow belly to be seen. All Murray cod and on both trips they're all small and that's a wonderful sign for the future of this river. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, I want to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.